What is up you guys? It is Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another supplement review. I'm not in Australia anymore, unfortunately. Um, I am back home, but I had an awesome time there and now I'm gonna do the supplement review that I've been waiting to do. I wanted to do it when I was in Australia because I thought it would be fun to do it from my hotel room, but I never got the chance to because it was just busy. I was there for work. So, I'm home and I'm ready to get back to it, making content for you guys and trying out some protein. Yes, one more. So, I, got, I found these samples at a vitamin shop. It was a different vegan protein that I hadn't seen before. The brand is Solgar. I think that is like the company, but it's called Spoonfuls. Vegan Protein Nutritional Shake. And they have three flavors, vanilla, mixed berry, and chocolate coconut, which sound all so good. So I'm pretty excited to try them. I'm gonna try one now and see how the other ones fit in my macros. Maybe try them all today or split it up. But of course, you guys are seeing it all in one video. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, so I'm gonna just like read off the macros really quick. I'm seeing which flavor I wanna try first. Probably chocolate coconut, because that sounds really delicious, because I like my coconut and I like chocolate. So, chocolate coconut macros. It's got 190 calories. Oh, that's the most out of all of them. It's 3.5 fat, 16 carb, and 20 protein. You know what? Maybe I'll do vanilla. Vanilla has 150 calories, three fat, 12, carb and 20 protein and then of course mixed berry we've got 160 calories three fat 13 carb and 20 protein so they all got 20 grams of protein chocolate has the most carbs but if you look at the back and at the ingredient list it has all like your essential of course aminos but it shows all the list of vitamins and minerals that it has in it it's a complete protein blend made from pea protein brown rice hemp and pumpkin seed. It's even got an omega-3 EFA flaxseed powder, so you got your omegas in there, which is a pretty darn awesome. And it, oh, it's even got a greens blend. That is, pr dang, that is really good. Yeah, a digestive enzyme blend as well. So this has everything in it. So it's kind of like taking the Vega One in that you've got your greens, it's got all your vitamins and minerals. So this is definitely, from package point of view, a solid, solid protein. Now will it taste good? We will find out. So, I'm gonna go get a mason jar and we are going to mix up some protein powder. I read this incorrectly, but it is vanilla chai. Not just plain vanilla, but yeah, it smells really good. I spilled some on my carpet, so then I'm gonna have to clean that up afterwards, but let's see if I can mix this up with just a straw. All right, it really reminds me of the Vega protein powder. I can't remember the the cost of the full tubs, but I don't know. Maybe if it tastes like it, I might go with this instead of Vega, but let's find out. Okay. A little underwhelming, I'll be honest. It smelled more like vanilla chai than it does taste. Like, I taste the chai part of it, but not as much as the vanilla. I mean, let's see if they even like sweeten it just says, mm, they use stevia. So I'm surprised it's not much sweeter, but I don't know. Like, I'm not completely sold on the vanilla. Vanilla chai, excuse me, but yeah. I'll give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Like, it's not awful, but I don't know if I'd go out of my way to buy this flavor. If I'm gonna get a vanilla chai, I think I'd rather go with Vegas. It looks like Vega too, with like tinted green from knowing that it has a greens powder in it, but yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm not too bad, not too bad. I will, I mean, it's drinkable. It's palatable, whatever you wanna call it. But I'm not like 100% sold on it. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, drop what I'm doing, go buy myself a tub when I run out of what other vanilla protein powder I may be consuming, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna finish it for now and then I'll catch you guys for the next flavor. All right, so I just got back from the gym and I thought it would be time to try another flavor. So I'm gonna mix up, ironically enough, the mixed berry. So yeah, I read off the macros already, so I'm just gonna add this to my mason jar of water and stir it up. All right, it looks the same as the vanilla where you got that tinted green because I know it has a greens powder in it. So, smells good, it smells like berries. Let's just see how it tastes. Okay. It tastes like mixed berries. I mean, 
alone with water. Like, it just, it's kind of odd to have a mixed berry tasted um, protein powder. And it, it kind of tastes strong, I'll say that, but like real, at least. It's not like a fake fruity flavor, but it's pretty strong. It's not bad, but it's not like, oh my gosh, great. I don't know, I've never been one to go for protein powders that taste like fruit. I'm either like chocolate or vanilla, peanut butter, something sweeter typically, um, but it's good. So I will say that if you are a mixed berry person, you might like this. You can add this with extra strawberries, whatever, if you wanna put it in a blender, that probably tastes great as well. But alone, like, yeah, it's good. I mean, I'll give this one like a seven out of 10. It's better than the vanilla, I would say, but it's not one that I'm also gonna be like, oh my god, I gotta go buy this right now, you know? So, yeah, not too shabby. Definitely would taste better, like, in a smoothie form. But with water, it mixes well, so that's, like, the important part. And it tastes clean, so... It's I eat. Alright, I'll see you guys for the next flavor. Alright, guys, so we are on to the last flavor of our spoonfuls um, protein powder, the chocolate coconut. So I've got my mason jar right here. I'm gonna mix it up real quick and then we gonna try it out. Yeah. You know, I'm honestly pleasantly surprised with this protein powder, how easy it just, you can stir it and it mixes in versus having to use a shaker cup. So that is pretty awesome. It smells really good. So I'm excited to try this one. Okay, yes. Mm. Mm hmm. I like this one. I really do. Versus the vanilla and the berry. Definitely the best. You can see on the jar that there is still a little bit of residue. I mean, it's popular for plant proteins to sometimes be gritty. And with this one, eh, but I think it could be due to the fact that it does have like the whole greens blend in it. It has like so much in it. it I compared it to like Vega because of all the stuff, good stuff that it has in it. So honestly, like I don't mind that it has slight texture. It's not like a hundred percent smooth, but that's just with water. If you're gonna mix it with strawberries, fruits, whatever, make a smoothie out of it, it doesn't matter that it has like a tiny bit of grit in it because fruits are gonna have also texture in a smoothie. So this is my favorite. I'll definitely rate it like a 8.5. Because again, I've had better chocolate flavored proteins, but chocolate coconut is a rare flavor to find, so I will say that this is my favorite. I think the blessed protein had like a chocolate coconut, something coconut, I remember, but I didn't like it. That's all I remember about the blessed protein powder from EHP Labs. But this one actually, I would, I would go and buy this one for reals. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish this up and then we will wrap up this review. All right guys, so we tried all three flavors of, what is the brand called again? I can't, I ripped off the edge, <laughs> whatever. But spoonfuls, I found these at the vitamin shop. I haven't seen them anywhere else, but I do recommend them. I think it is, they're very good protein with the awesome, awesome greens blend. And it has probiotics, enzyme, everything. Even ashwagandha, which is like really good for naturally helping stress levels. So that's pretty cool that it has so many good things in it and it shows the full amino profile, vitamins, minerals, everything. So I do recommend it for that fact. Now when it comes to flavors, if you're like, well, you didn't like certain flavors, which one would I say? Chocolate coconut, definitely chocolate coconut. Second would be mixed berry and third would be vanilla chai. It had a good chai flavor to it, but not as much vanilla. It really wasn't that wowing for me. Um, so I would just say, if you do want to go for this protein, go for chocolate coconut. I can't remember the price of the full tubs. The samples themselves were kind of expensive. They were like, almost like $4 each. So I'll just say that maybe the um, tubs might be a little more expensive. I don't know. But yeah, just letting y'all know. So yes, I did enjoy them, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this review, and that it was helpful. So if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up, because that helps 
me know that you like these review videos. Otherwise, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right down below. It's right there. So that you can join the Fit Fam and enjoy more videos. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym now and work out. So yeah, hope you guys had a good lift today. If you haven't lifted today, go lift today. If you have lifted today, comment below what you lifted today. All right, stop pointing at the camera. <laughs> All right, bye.